Today on Drawbly, I gave Ben a drawing lesson. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are drawing together because art is better with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And check out our guidebook on daily drawing linked below. So Ben, you very sweetly asked for a drawing lesson. You said, that sounds fun. And I said, okay. And we went to Starbucks. Were you nervous? Well, but on the surface, you look calm and ready to mom drop spaghetti. <laughs> um, but you kept on forgetting no, what you wrote not down. Not everybody whole was allowed to listen to Eminem <laughs> as a child. You know, that was a singular event for you and many others. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, well, we were just driving on our way to Starbucks, and mm -hmm. we talked about this. So I didn't have a lesson plan. So we both drew the same reference, which you can see um, Ben's process in a previous video. And I would take little breaks on mine, kind of demonstrating what I was doing in my thought process, while at the same time making you redo little parts of yours and erase parts of yours yeah, that I thought needed improvement. Yeah, you were giving me critique as I went along. It was very helpful. Yeah. And it was interesting, I wasn't sure what I would end up focusing on with this, because I, like I said, I wasn't planning anything, so... I had unfiltered Abby. Yeah, yeah, an unfiltered um, version of, yeah, me critiquing your drawing as I went. I was not, like, I wasn't mean, but I also wasn't nice, you know? I was like, you need to erase that and redraw that jawline there so the angle is more at this angle. Uh -huh. That eye there is not right. This eyebrow here is too long. And this is all very pot calling the kettle black because, of course, my work is not, you know, without its own flaws and faults. But what I found myself focusing the most on was trying to impart to you the importance of um, angles and relationships between different landmarks of the face. So the width... And you did a good job of doing that. Thank you. The width of one area there compared were a lot of to other the width things of another. That, that you taught me as we went through as well. You, I think, what, what, I'm, what I received is exactly what I wanted because I essentially got all the stuff that you like to focus on when you're creating art. Mm -hmm. So that's what you helped me with. The fun part about this lesson too was the real time nature of it, where the idea was you were just gonna draw this at the same time I did. And so I would take little breaks just to like stop you right where you were and in real time correct, in my mind, what you were doing and say, no, I want you to do this. I would say the part that seemed the hardest for you was accepting going into the detail on the braid because it is tedious to draw every plate and hatch in a little bit, um, which I thought was pretty cute that you were like, oh no, but... I would never take the time to like actually detail out anything like that just because it doesn't interest me and I know how long art is looked at by just people in general. And I'm like, nobody cares about details. Um, I'm, I'm like genuinely not a huge believer or ever have been in details, which is why I don't create hyper detailed sculpts for yeah, my characters. Yeah, exactly. So it was definitely a lesson in my, my interests and work, which there would be, of course, some takeaway for you, but other stuff, you know, take it or leave it kind of st stuff. Um, so you did this as well, and we'll compare them both at the end side by side. <gasps> I can't wait to see it. And there's many things about yours that I really, really like. There are many things about mine that remind me of your art. Oh, thank you. I'm like, these shapes look like Abby shapes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did add paint to mine, and I, at that point, kind of stopped really harping on you because at that point paint becomes a it felt more like a just a choice versus a this is the right way to do it oh maybe sort that's of thing. just because you don't have more experience in paint i think that's it too but with lines i felt confident picking on you quite a bit oh you did yes and so i did um and, and it was... so i did <laughs> <laughs> um so i did but i love the way that paint on yours turned out. So we'll see at the end, mine still has a very like soft ethereal quality to it that to me is is lacking something that I haven't figured out how to capture just yet. I use a lot of watercolor brush, which I enjoy doing, but it tends to leave a lot of like um, translucency in place that doesn't really serve me super well in the end. Mm. And yours has a lot more of a solid fill, solid edges. Although I do like how the watercolor brush allows me to paint like the skin in this way, where it just has these kind of rough 
edges within the different areas of the skin. Yeah, so that's I think fun. that looks really cool. Thank you. I think it's a cool technique. Do you use watercolor brushes a lot? Um, I, I never use them. I, Should I be? I have Am I doing from it wrong? time to time. Um, I think I saw an, a video by a YouTuber called Art with Luris that used them, and I thought that looks really nice. So I've used them from time to time since watching that, but I don't always. And then I colored my line work here. <gasps> I love coloring my line work. Yeah. Line. Uh, I feel like calling what I do line work is a bit... Uh, a bit too much. Not I like all. coloring my lines. Your lines have gotten really good lately, so I think we, we're allowed to call your work line work now. All lines are. I, I figured it out, everybody. All lines are is a really thin brush. Oh. Think about it. <laughs> yep. That's all pencil is. Just yep. a tiny brush. There you go. <laughs> Crack the code. Exactly. So pretty much, I'm not drawing. I'm still painting. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and you're not you're not wrong. <laughs> um, but I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed doing this with you too, just because it had been a while since we'd been able to get out to a Starbucks and draw together. So that was really nice too. Mm -hmm. You know, always a, always a fun time. Um, and that's that was really the extent of the lesson. Just being very um, firm about correcting angles and spacing between different landmarks of the face and also i did a lot i had you correct your eyes quite a bit till they looked the way that i thought they should look mm, that's why i said mine was a, a little more of an abby style mm -hmm. but i found your critique to be very helpful well good because it was definitely also, on the fly i didn't find it to be strict no <laughs> no no i don't i didn't find it to be harsh at all no, I felt like I was at least strict. I did. I was not mean, um, but I did have you erase quite often and redraw. This is also like the entire time we were having this conversation. There were two women off in the corner of the cafe having, you know, a conversation back and forth as well, and one of the women was a very, very active listener. Yes, that's a great way to describe her, actually. I told my friend uh, who I went out to a cafe with the other day about this interaction, and I said, she was such an active listener, she would say, yeah, yeah, every like three to five seconds. It was probably more frequent than that, actually. And it, so I, I actually recorded a, a one or two minute clip from this interaction. I oh just, no. I hit record on my phone, put my phone on the table, because I was dying laughing to myself. I would just look at you from time to time, like unbelievably, like I can't believe this is happening. It was so, a so bit I, much. So I played it for him and he was like, Oh, that's way more than every three seconds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was genuinely insane. It was actually a bit much. Like, I'm not one to deny anyone else their space in a cafe. It's a public space, but the, it was a bit repetitive. It was kind of like somebody... It was somebody, also very loud. It was like a very I think it was, loud yeah. conversation. I think it was the volume of it. And the, I, I don't, like, I was hesitant to mention this at all because I could feel a little bad because, you know, who knows? She m might have had, like, Tourette's or something similar. I, I have no idea. But it was just one of the most wild conversations I've ever heard in my entire life. So I felt like it uh, deserved some mentioning. I, I think it did because it's really not every day you go out to a cafe and hear the word yeah, yeah. no less than 1,000 yeah. times yeah. at a high volume. Like, yeah. yeah, it was like an Usher yeah. song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. it had that kind of like cadence. But, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah to these because they are super cool. Oh, well, thank you. And you did an amazing job as well. I really love the cleanliness and clarity of yours, which is something I hope to incorporate later on into my work. And I love the lines of yours and hope that someday I can get better at that and incorporate it into my work. And if you want to, yeah, click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to check out our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, at the link below in the description. And this is the part where we say goodbye. Goomba. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me that story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 All right. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>